welcome to ESC TV on the road from American Heart Association Scientific Sessions 2022. I'm Carlos Aguiar from Lisbon, Portugal, and I'm delighted to be joined by Francois Mach from uh, Geneva, Switzerland, and Nicole Krenkel from Berlin, Germany, who will be discussing the prominent and the respect EPA trials. Francois, what were the key results of the prominent study? The prominent study was a randomized control uh, trial in roughly 10,000 patients with diabetes, very high triglyceride and low HDL. And these PIPA alpha agonists did not have a benefit on primary uh, outcomes, mainly myocardial infarction, stroke, revascularization, or cardiovascular death. So reducing triglyceride Increasing HDL in patients with diabetes, high risk, already well treated with statin, does not seem to be uh, to, to bring important uh, clinical outcomes. What are the clinical implications of these results? Because fibrates remain a very widely used drug around the world. Yes, I think it's somehow uh, it's personal. It's some somehow close the chapter to add a fibrate in diabetic patient with high triglyceride does not close the door of reducing triglyceride. And there are other ongoing studies trying to reduce triglyceride without a PIPA alpha, without fibrates, with APOC3 or HPLT3 as well. And we are looking for that. It's uh, hopefully will still have a benefit in these patients with high triglyceride, but it was not obtained with fibroids. I have to mention that the design of the prominent trial was based on post hoc analysis, sub-analysis of quite old studies with fibroid. And we have to be somehow uh, uh, cautious with sub-analysis, but that's an important result. Even we can call it neutral or negative from the prominent trial. Thank you, Francois. Nicole, what about the RESPECT EPA trial? What were the key results in the study? So uh, the RESPECT EPA trial was conducted in a Japanese patient, population of patients with established coronary artery disease. And in those patients, 1.8 gram of EPA daily on top of an established statin did show a borderline beneficial effect of EPA on the uh, primary endpoint, which was a composite cardiovascular endpoint. There were some differences to previous studies testing this. Uh, one was that the patients included had to have low EPA baseline levels and post hoc analysis um, seemed to show that the beneficial effect seems to be linked to the actual increase of these initially low EPA levels. Um, another difference to previous studies was that these um, study patients had not that high triglyceride levels and also not that high HSCRP uh, levels as in other studies. So that is something we need to take account when looking into um, the biological mechanisms and uh, trying to figure out um, how the mechanisms result in the end point. So EPA is already available in many countries and is being used in clinical practice. What are the implications of respect EPA findings to clinical practice? So uh, we might say that this trial just adds a little puzzle piece to the complex picture that we already have on EPA, but also in general, the omega-3 uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids. We might say that uh, the study uh, gave an additional um, advice that purified EPA might be worth considering on top of statins in a secondary prevention population, but there are still a lot of maybes. Maybe the purified EPA works better than the mixed omega-3 fatty acids. Maybe patients with an established atherosclerotic disease benefit. However, the study is underpowered. Well, thank you, Nicole, and uh, thank you, Francois. I think we've seen two studies where add-on therapies to statin have been used, aiming to reduce the burden of cardiovascular disease in selected high or very high-risk patients. 
I don't believe that Prominent and Respect EPA have definitively answered the question of whether we still need to use medications to lower triglyceride-rich lipoproteins. Further studies are still ongoing. And it does seem that uh, the EPA benefits will still require some more proof before we are fully convinced of how we should be using these agents. Thank you to both.